Uh, hello, this is a note, a video note on reading the sextant dials. It's for, from our Celestial Navigation course online. In particular, it's quiz two where we have these exercises. Uh, here's a picture, a uh, schematic picture of a sextant from our textbook. And um, this is sextant here. And we, I'm not going over the, how this works and so forth. We have that other places. But in general, you squeeze this squeeze this clamp together, then this whole arm slides back and forth this way along here, and we read the degrees part of the sextant right here, and then we read the minutes part of the angle. So a typical angle might be like, you know, 58 degrees, 23.6 minutes. And generally with a modern, a modern metal sextant, we read the minutes to the tenth to the tenth of a minute using this vernier scale over here. And I'll show that in a minute more. But let me, uh, zo well, it's not, we have some extra practice exercises, and I'm going to come back to that. But for example, here's one where it's uh, like, f you would want to read this dial. And one of the things we have to always be careful about is a go the right direction. So in this number, and you see these are increasing this way. So this number is a 50, that's 55, 56, 57, 57. And now here would be, and we're reading, this is the index mark right here. Again, these are not the, the super best pictures. Your human eye will do a lot better than what these pictures do. But our exercises are, frankly, better than the human eye. That's what I'll show you in a moment. But let's get the principles down first. That's 50, uh, 51, and there's a tick mark every degree. So it's 55, 56, 57. It's fi and here's 58. So look at this. It's almost 58, but not quite. Not quite. This would have to be lined up right exactly here to be 58. It's slightly. So the answer is 57 degrees. And then we go over here and read this. And again, we have to be careful we're reading the right direction. It's increasing. Um, it, it's increasing this way as you roll this towards you. So this is, in other words, we're looking for uh, 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 a number that's almost 60, 60 minutes. These are minutes. So there's one degree, each degree is 60 minutes, and there's 60 minutes are along here. So that's 50, 55, oh, and then we want to see what it reads here. And again, we have the same idea. This, is, this zero here is the index mark, and it's just beyond 51, 2, 3, 4 just beyond four. So it's so far we've got 53 degrees, 54 minutes. Now we got a little bit more and then we read that from the vernier, which I'm going to get to in a minute. But the way you read the vernier is you find which of these tick marks most closely aligns with these. And we'll see that better in some pictures I'm getting to. But right now we look and see that one is which one align, Which one of these marks aligns best with which of these marks? And so this one's not aligned, and so that one's not aligned. Look, see, this one's not aligned this way, that one's not aligned that way, that one's right on the money. And these are all misaligned more. So the answer here, it's this one. So what is that one? That's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.1. That's 1. So this is then 0.2. Point two. So we read um, uh, 54, 1, 2, 3, 4, 54.2. So the answer there is 54.2. And here is 50. So what was his, uh, let's go back over this. And you have to do this, not only in the practice quiz, but when you're standing there with a section in your hand, you have to go over it, check, and double check yourself always because you'll get nonsense if you read it the wrong way. So this is 55, 56, 57, 57 degrees, 54.2 minutes. That's the answer. Now look, here's a, here's a typical mistake you could do. You could go read this as 62 something, a little bit beyond 62. Right? 60, 61, 62. Totally wrong. Then the numbers are increasing this way. Okay, so that's just that, that exercise. Now let's look at, in the book, you would then go up here, where is the, uh, okay. So here's where you go, this is your main, 
your main uh, section, um, your main section here, how to read a section, and this tells you just what I what I just did. So, oh, okay. So, look. Okay, so here's an easy one. Fifty. 56 degrees and look it's exactly lined up and we go to the micrometer drum and it's also exactly lined up this this one doesn't have a vernier some you can get a two thousand dollar section doesn't have a vernier but most most of them will have a vernier for reading the tents and this one here then it would be like 50 uh, and it's showing you that look 56 0 56 19 right and again warning you this is 5619, not 5621, and so forth. So please go over these, and you read these, and then we come to the index errors, the index correction. And that is, when we come back to that sextant and set the sextant to zero degrees, zero minutes, then uh, that's like this, zero degrees, zero minutes. And there is, now I'm not... Um, we're not doing the how to take the sights or anything now. We're just talking about reading the dials, reading the dials. So this one, that's exactly lined. That's exactly lined. That's zero, zero. This one is just a, look at that. It's just a hair beyond zero. And you go over to the micrometer and uh, the micrometer drum. Um, and um, it's, what is it? Zero. Uh, this is a. Like, now again, without a without a vernier, you would just estimate that. That's 0 0.1. Point, I mean, one minute, two minute. There's three minutes. That's 2.5, something like that. Okay, so that that's it. Now again, and then there's a section in the text how to read the vernier, and I'm going to just do some examples of that. But here's where you go in the book and read that. Okay, so let's go down, and this I'm going to come back to. Uh, is this our celestial course? Yeah. This is the quiz, and um, and here, okay, and here's where you got the dials. Now, and this is the quiz questions that you need to answer. And you see, I'll make, well, it's a little bit big, but okay. And these are sharp. In fact, if you look at these, you can, this is a PDF, you can Print out, well, you don't want to print it necessarily. You're much better looking at the screen because look what you can do on the on the screen. You can you can zoom you can zoom that thing. Um, let's see. Do I? How do I? Oh, it's interesting. I can't uh, grab and pull that. Oh, I'm looking at it online. I'm not looking at the PDF. Oh, okay. So you're you're better off to. Uh, to uh, download the PDF and then open the PDF and, and, and look at it. Does this work? Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's just let's just grab one of these and take a look at it. And you're, you've, you're asked on the quiz to answer several of these, uh, uh, several of these questions. And uh, like here's a sextant reading here. Now, okay, so what's the sex? This is, this is meant to be the arc. That's the arc part, and this is the micrometer drum. So let's just look at this one. So that's 10, that's 15, and there's the index mark, 15, and over here is 16. So it's, it's 15, it's somewhere between 15 and 16 degrees. But let, so it's 15 degrees, and look, I can almost tell here that it's just beyond 30. 30 minutes would be right square in the middle. So you got if that tick mark here were right straight in the answer, then this thing should be lined up on 30. But I can see it's a little beyond 30 already, and so I come down here to see what it is. So the answer here is 10, 15 degrees, 15 degrees, and then I read this, and I read them in the increasing numbers here, and that's your index mark. This looks to be bang on. Let's see, is that right? Yeah. When they're bang on, like this guy's right exactly on this guy, then the other one has to be, the other end has to be online as well. So I would say that this is 15, this is an easy one, 15 degrees, 35, 36, 37, 38 minutes. 15 degrees, 38 minutes, because this one lines up with this. Let's find one that doesn't line up here. Okay, let's go over to number one. And this is 40. That's 45 degrees. And just a hair above 45. 
right? So 45, and so I've got here um, how many minutes? Five, six, seven, eight. It's beyond eight. So it's uh, 45 degrees and eight minutes, but what's the tense? Looks like it's, you know, uh, here's, here's eight and here's nine. It's going to be something less than five. And if I go in here, this is like point two, four, six, eight, ten. So it is. It's point four. See, this one's lined up the most. Now, if you zoom this, let's see if I can. You can. I should have plotted the PDF out first, but you can zoom these things, and you'll see that that lines up. But print, ex, don't just look at the. Don't just look at the answer this way. S right click, save this PDF. Then open the PDF in your uh, Adobe Reader, and then you can zoom it and home right in on this. Way better than you can ever hope to do with the human eye, but then you can do those. And then some of these involve doing an index correction, like, you know, where it's right around, or an index measurement. We're reading something right around zero. And if it's asked to be an index correction, it would depend. Depend if it's before, and you've got that whole section in the book about the index corrections. But you see, this is um, this is uh, this is off the scale here. This one, this one is back. You've got a you've got a big number. You're reading a big number here. Um, and so this is actually this is actually going to be uh, like a couple minutes off the scale. Off. This is off the scale. This looks like it's really just barely off the scale, and this one is just barely on the scale. See, this is just a hair on the on this side. This is on the scale up this way, on the scale. And there's analogies. There's analogies in the book about this, about this, like a speedometer. You know, a speedometer that's reading uh, five miles an hour when you're stopped. Right when you're stopped, it's reading five miles an hour. So then, when you're going 30, you have to say, "Well, what's my real speed? Is 25." But if your speedometer is off the scale and reads minus five when it's parked, then when you read 25 or when you're reading 30, you're actually going 35. It's the same sort of thing. It's the offset to the uh, to the mirror alignment. And this one is on. This one is on the scale, and the and and so this is like one, one minute, and then you see what lines up here. It looks like, looks like this one right here, point four. It says one point four on the scale. You have to always say on the scale. Now this one is behind the scale. You see, it's in the big numbers. It's in the big numbers. So it, well, the way you solve one like this is you would actually read this as if you would read this dial. And that reads 55. That reads 59. Right? 59 is here. And then point what? And it's 2, 4, 6. Okay, I'm going to zoom that guy. So that's 59, and then what lines up here? Okay, it's this one. It's a point four. So you see, that does not line with that. This one does not line with that one. This does not line with that one. This one lines up. So that's point two, point four. So this reads 59.4, but it's off the scale. So you have to take 60 minus that. And the answer is 0 0.6 off the scale. 0 0.6 off the scale. Now, if that seems too fast or confusing on that one, then go in the textbook. We've got a lot of examples in the textbook. All right, I'm going to stop there. That should Hopefully, that's a little guidance on solving those problems and reading these dials. It's fundamental. A fundamental process here. It's not intuitive in any sense, and there's lots of ways to make mistakes. But it's absolutely crucial that you re that that uh, reading be right.